Hello, Michael Rosso here, filmphotographyproject.com, and today I'm here to tell you about getting a lag when using an electronic flash with your Polaroid, with your favorite Polaroid pack camera. Today I have the uh, Polaroid 104 pack camera, and you may say, well, what is a lag? Well, a lag is when you fire the shutter, it flashes, but the shutter remains open, and that creates sort of a dreamy, kind of interesting look to your photography. If you have your electronic flash on your camera and plugged into your camera ready to shoot, you take your darken lighten and you turn it to lighten almost all the way. Now, you may say, Well, Mike, or isn't my image going to be overexposed? Yes, you may overexpose by doing that, but you could put a piece of diffusion here on your flash. I'm just taking a paper cup. Real, I'm, I'm, this impromptu. <coughs> this is making an instant diffuser. Boom. <laughs> Take this. I'm going to double it up because I'm going to be shooting pretty close to John. See, diffuse. Put it there. It's called makeshift diffuser. Bing, bam, boom, flim, flam, flume. There it is. That's going to diffuse the amount of light coming out of the flash. Hopefully we won't overexpose. And uh, here's a flashlight for you, John. Oh. When I cue you, you're going to put the flashlight in the frame, like oh, cool. to create an effect. Ready, John? Yeah. Let me focus up. One, two, three. Good. Nice. John had a flashlight, and the shutter fired, and because it's on lighten, the shutter stayed open after the flash exposed the picture, meaning that the camera is looking for enough light in the electronic eye to shut the, f shut the shutter. Are you following this? Yeah. So John, <laughs> he took a flashlight and went, uh, and what it did, it hit the electronic eye and shut the shutter down. We're, we're going to do a second one, try a different effect. Yeah, you're, yeah I'm going to shake a shaker like a Polaroid. <laughs> you ready, John? Yeah. And then once I hit the fire, make, make a funny face. Okay. Ready? Here we go. One, two, three. Now, we're going to see what we got. <laughs> Here we go. Oh, this oh. is kind of flashy, flashy. Oh! That's that, that. You know, circle, that, that circle you see, that's John's flashlight. It's actually, you're painting with the flashlight. I'm painting with light? He's painting with light. That's by using this technique called shutter lag. This is the one where we did a shaky, shake a shake like a Polaroid. Whoa! John, it looks like a, it looks like a still from The Exorcist. That's crazy. It's crazy. Now what happened here was the shutter stayed open and John, John was making all sorts of blah. So what you have is a double, triple. It's like ghosting. Ghosting exposure. And it looks. There's an image right there on yeah, my chest. It looks very, very strange. So the possibilities are kind of, you know, really open to do something really exciting by using this technique. So to review, your Polaroid pack camera. Use an electronic flash. Make sure your darken lighten is closer to lighten. When you fire the button, your shutter will open, click, and then will remain open. That's when you do wacky stuff, shake a shake a Polaroid, or have your friend with a flashlight, or let's say a tiki torch, like, yeah! And then the shutter will close, and then it will yield kind of crazy pictures. Diffuse your light. Oh, I forgot to tell you, diffuse your light a little bit. You don't have a diffuser. You don't want to go to the camera store. You don't want to go online. Go to your local food store and get some clear plastic cups. Till next time, Michael Rosso, Film Photography Project. I host the internet radio show, filmphotographypodcast.com. Myself, John, Matt, Dan, all these guys we get together. Lauren, we get together and have a great time <coughs> talking about film. I gotta go. Jordan, I gotta go. Blah.